The number of pupils and teachers off school in England because of coronavirus has risen. The latest figures show that one in 12 teachers was off work at the end of last week and more than 300,000 children were at home. Numerous schools have told the BBC they are unable to find temporary staff to cover. Here's our education editor, Bramwyn Jeffries. So how are we doing this morning? This is how the school day starts in Rochdale. So there's 32 staff absence at the moment, 20 staff need covering. Checking how many staff are off. 32 this morning, including 11 teachers. Oh, Mr. Supply, we've got in. Five supply. Five morning, everybody. Chris, the head teacher, is just trying to keep it normal for pupils. Morning. But it's a constant morning, juggling act. Ladies, mask on properly, please. It's becoming increasingly more challenging. Even though we plan ahead and we try and book as many supply teachers as we think we need for the week, the changes in absence on a day-by-day -day basis change so quickly that we have to be trying to be one step ahead. So they're merging some lessons today. The head of maths, Irfan Ashraf, took a double class, 50 year nine pupils learning together. The two points that it crosses, you draw a straight line through. So they get specialist teaching. This kind of contingency planning shows the length schools are willing to go to to keep pupils learning in school but also how worried they are about this extra disruption after two years of the pandemic, especially for teenagers facing exams this summer. Hoping this latest COVID wave passes quickly, Year 11's looking forward to GCSE exams. It's my Year 11 year. I've worked whole school life towards it in GCSEs, and um, I want to do the best I possibly can. I wouldn't say like I'm actually hoping <laughs> to actually do the exams, but I think it's actually important because for me, um, if they actually go to another lockdown, they're going to do like teachers assess grades. I've got your cold writing task target. A hundred miles away in Birmingham, this primary has bought air purifier machines for every class. Last term, the autumn term, we were very fortunate. We had less than 10 children off with COVID and we only had a couple of members of staff and none of those were teachers. Very, very different. Uh, we've got more children cases than we had during the whole of the autumn term, just in this last week, and the same for staff. Parents here do voluntary lateral flow tests with their children. I want to keep life normal as possibly as it can be, really. I don't want any more disruption anyways. If he brings it home, I've got an elderly mother-in-law. He's going to pass it on to her. So again, I test my kids every other day. The government has appealed to former teachers to return. Details of how that's gone are expected tomorrow. Brown and Jeffries, BBC News.